Hey guys, this is uh, JP Freeman from New Hampshire Regional Car Block and Keen Car Block and uh, carblock.org. Um, and uh, you can see uh, me and uh, Ethan Glover on uh, New Hampshire Regional Car Block dot org and uh, New Hampshire Regional Facebook page, New Hampshire Regional Car Block YouTube channel, and uh, see our exploits. We actually have an on the road podcast, um, audio only. Um, which is uh, much easier and you can hear our exploits, our kidding around and uh, live on the road car blocking and uh, first episode of that was last night this is uh, episode 4 of my mini cast um, I do them on a weekly basis and uh, cover uh, um, topics that are going on that particular moment if you all know um, I'm a part of a liberty community of activists all over the state of New Hampshire. Um, I am not a Free State Project mover. I was here before Free State Project. My wife, on the other hand, is a uh, uh, what they call an FSP or Free State Project early mover. Um, early movers are usually people that signed and moved up here uh, before uh, the 20,000 um, uh, push, is, is if they call it. She has uh, rescinded her um, and re resigned from being an FSP mover along with hundreds and hundreds of others. Um, this is in response to one of uh, one of the more popular uh, media um, activists, um, Ian Freeman. Um, he, uh, Ian Freeman uh, is uh, Free Talk Live um, radio. He does. Uh, uh, he's part of the Shire Society, and he uh, basically um, um, made some comments about uh, the age of consent and his view on consent. Now, I've already posted um, numerous videos. Well, not numerous videos. Numerous comments and, and posts on Facebook, and I made a, a, a video, um, and some people got offended by it. Um, specifically Christians because you know I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian um, self-proclaimed evangelical uh, born-again Christian that, that has much much different outlook on God than most other Christians um, I, uh, I'm the non-judgmental type I don't shove the Bible down people's throat I'm all about free will uh, no matter what it is including abortion it's not up to me um, just to make it clear to other Christians, it's not up to me what people do with their own body. If they're doing that against God, that's between them and God, not me. Homosexuality, same thing. People have a right, and God supports free will. God supports the right to choose. God supports people doing whatever they want to do with their own bodies. Now, the consequences of that, that's between them and God. It had nothing to do with me, and it's none of my damn business basically what Ian was saying. Um, Ian said that it's none of our business what goes on in someone else's home. Um, and someone said, well, what if uh, a six-year-old is being raped? Um, and and that, that becomes a moral question now. And you're putting someone on the, on the spot. Do we have a right to look in people's homes if we think something's going on? No, we don't. And I think that's basically what he was saying. Um, do I agree with a six-year-old getting raped? No. I, I like to jump in that, that building and, you know, violate what they call the NAP, the non-aggression principle, and knock the guy out if he's hurting a little child and he should go to jail and get put on the electric chair. That's a personal view. Um, do I feel like we have a right to look at other people's homes and, and invade their privacy? Absolutely not. People can construe it any way they want. Um, you're always going to find somebody that's going to be offended. Now me, I specifically targeted and named some Christians on this petition to remove um, anything to do with uh, Free Talk Live and uh, the Liberty uh, Network, uh, Liberty Radio Network and LRN FM um, from uh, any FSP events and uh, being FSP. Now the thing with this that bothers me the most is he he used those resources and Free State Project um, board members and their governmental control basically voted um, to oust Ian and Free Talk Live 
uh, pretty much uh, and eliminate him from any events that, that are going on. Now, Ian is taking this extremely well. Um, and and he's, he's justified in that uh, because I don't think it's going to affect his, his activism work at all. Um, some of the things he says make me shriek, but, you know, people are entitled to their own view. Um, now, I had a meeting with some Christians today that were bothered by some of the things I said the past week because of my frustration with Christians signing this paper of force. Now, signing a petition publicly makes you a public target anyway. You made that decision. And uh, I was, uh, there, there's, a, there's a Christian group on Facebook that, um, I, I don't want to say threatened, but if I don't veer off of my viewpoint, um, there, there was a... Um, a little snippet in there that I would be removed from the group. That's fine. If people are uncomfortable with something, they have every right to remove themselves from any association they want to um, they want to have. My personal view with that, I'll just keep to myself because I don't want people to be more offended. Now, when you're a weaker vessel and, and you you're offended by something, that means you you you're being offended by something you feel is personal when it really doesn't need to be. On the other hand, you have a certain amount of Christians signing a paper of force, removing someone that doesn't believe in God. Of course, they're going to target the Christian and be like, oh, why are Christians doing this to me? Uh, was that said? No. Is the assumption there? Probably. I don't know. Uh, but apparently, I offended a bunch of people, and two of them actually had the, uh, the balls, the, the, the humbleness to actually come to me and speak to me about it, which is great. People need to do a lot more of that. Now, it's very hard writing on Facebook uh, because you, you, don't, you can't judge people's mannerisms, you don't know their frustrations um, or if they're going to perceive something and, and take something in, um, in in a good light versus what their preconception, pre-notions are about that person and what they normally see because they normally see me going after police and be like, you're a coward, you need to answer questions in the public, blah, 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 blah. My 400 something videos going after cops. Or I target the cops that are doing illegal actions and stopping people for no reason and doing brute force and all that stuff. Um, but I've been cop locking for about four years. I, uh, I'm a guest host and, and a, a co host, and sometimes I host a cop lock radio show. I fill in for Severin when he's sick or. Um, fill in whatever. The past two weeks I've been doing a cop lock radio show. Um, I have a hate group dedicated to come after me, so I'm not worried about what other Christians are going to say, do, or whatever. Um, I've been up against an enormous amount of scrutiny, lies, libel behavior for a good two years straight now. Being trashed by numerous people on lies, conjecture, rumors, um, and all kinds of stuff. And I'm not even a political figure. All I do is go after cops. Um, but anyways, with, with these Christians, um, my, my personal view is if they publicly put their name out there and say, I'm signing this petition because I'm standing with these people, you're making yourself a public target. That's a consequence you have to pay for making that decision. I don't know why it needs to be on me. Um, am I sorry for naming a couple people? Yes, I, I, my intention was not to hurt them. Uh, my intention was not to uh, um, offend them at all. Uh, because some of that post was uh, a general picture of everybody that signed it. I wasn't in agreement with the petition to begin with altogether. Now on a Christian standpoint, I don't think a born again Christian has a right to judge anybody because it's a petition of judgment. You're saying because he made these comments, I want him not to have anything to do with the Liberty community and he needs to be removed of all things, blah, 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 and it's by force. Which is against the whole Liberty community to begin with. Um, so I'm going to stick to the fact that anybody who signed this petition is in fact a statist. They're agreeing to make a decision with a large group of people to remove somebody by force that hasn't committed a crime that involves a victim. There's no victim here. They're playing victim and say, oh, he said something about consent and, and, and it's none of our business what happens to a six-year-old next door. Okay, status. 
if, if you want to do wiretapping and, and get in people's private homes and watch him to do to make sure he's a pedophile or not, go right ahead. Violate our rights like the Fed does. Violate our rights like, like the state does. Come together as a board and get a president to sign off on um, discommunicating um, from an organization, a dot com, a blog, and a radio show that's pretty much made uh, pretty much made uh, a lot of the people in the movement come up here in the first place. Now, like I was saying before, before the 20,000 signers, before they met that, they knew Ian Freeman's views before that point. Why didn't they excommunicate him years ago, knowing his views on consent, knowing his views that we don't need to be watching people in their own homes, even if a child is being... Uh, being um, assaulted by an adult. That's a horrible position to put somebody in um, because you're on a fine line of allowing people to have their privacy in their homes and then you, you're saying that he should be watching them because there could be some suspicion something's going on. I don't think that's right as a society to put somebody in a position like that to even make a comment on that because you're setting them up so you can initially do something about it and claim that he likes pedophiles. It's, it's twisted, it's vindictive, it's libel, and ultimately it has nothing to do with freedom. Um, I'm, I'm disturbed by this whole situation. I'm disturbed on even how the Christians are acting. I called them out, yes. I'm sorry they're offended. Um, I know some things got misconstrued because uh, they're actually looking at the whole entire thing that I wrote and thinking that was all about them. It actually wasn't all about them. It was generalized. Um, and I collectivized everybody that was in the petition altogether. Um, more more non-Christians are involved in that petition than, than Christians because I only seen three, three or four names that were Christians. Um, and that's heartbreaking um, because in our belief in my faith, I feel that that Christians judged somebody that's that basically doesn't believe what they believe in, and Christians shouldn't do that. The um, the, the the Bible says we should not become a stumbling block. They become a stumbling block towards somebody that another Christian was um, helping them with their with the with the view of uh, coming to God. And um, I know more people that aren't Christians are going to see this video. And uh, you, nobody needs to judge anybody. Um, I have friends that are Muslim. I have friends that are gay. I have friends that, that ha have had abortions. I've had, uh, I have Christian friends. I have anarchist friends. Um, I, I have no discriminatory mindset at all. Um, origin, place where they're from, what they look like, tall, fat, skinny, redhead, blonde, bald. Um, I do not discriminate whatsoever. I, I love everybody till they give me a reason not to trust them or if uh, they do something to me in, 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 a, in a bad way or they specifically target me uh, for no reason whatsoever. Of course, I'm not going not gonna to like them. So to all the Christians that are involved in this thing, I apologize. Um, I'm sorry that you feel uh, offended, but I'm going to stick to my guns and say you should not have signed this thing. Um, I think it's bad that you did. I think you ju you made a judgment on somebody that doesn't believe in God, and uh, you basically want to follow the masses and be yoked with a bunch of unbelievers, which is against your own faith. Um, I've been a Christian since 1989, and uh, what I have learned is, um, not what I learned, I'm just going to say it, Christians aggravate me. Um, with, with their judgments and they rather stick together with a conglomeration of people that they that, that believe in the same thing to make them be in a comfort zone. Um, in fact, if you if people actually read the Bible, if they believe it or not, if you want to look at it as stories, go ahead. Stories in the Bible 
um, show Jesus talking to more unbelievers and, and gathering together with what the hierarchy called sinners at that time than, than believers. His whole uh, outlook and ministry was the Great Commission and that's what he focused himself on, non-believers. I was told by a Christian today that um, his, his mission was to um, believe is more than unbelievers. That's actually not true. I disagree with that. Um, of course, I'm not naming any names, um, but these people had the heart to come to me instead of talk amongst themselves and behind my back, which I commend and, and highly respected and we prayed and whatever. Um, but I'm also an anarchist. I believe in a free society without control and being enslaved um, by a hierarchy government or internal government uh, governmentation um, and, and uh, controlling things as a status and that's what FSP did, that's what the FSP board did and I'm gonna stick to my guns on that. Now if you if you are a Christian you need to come to me and there's plenty of people that you know that have come to me that will verify that you can come to me and I will be receptive. Um, I won't argue with you um, it won't be uncomfortable and um, and really really uh, credible people can verify um, verify that and, uh, and confirm that um, so if you're offended you need to talk to me let's get together we'll speak and you can understand where I'm coming from and uh, why I put that out there if you're offended I just want to let you know that I called you out because I was offended first by signing that paper, I was offended. So the offense is with me. So you can say, oh, you need to uh, apologize for this or this is going to happen. Well, I want an apology for what you did to me. Because signing a, a petition of force that forcibly removed somebody from liberty and freedom that was free from their first breath, freedom from the, the, the very first words they spoke when they came came into this planet um, is uh, absolutely appalling. This petition should have never happened and Christians have no business signing this thing. I don't care who you are. Um, and if you're offended, that's that's okay. I mean, I've been offended a, a gazillion times on Christian groups and I, you don't see me carrying it on. I'm still going to sit with you. Whatever. I'm, I, you know, I lack the capacity to hold on to anything more than a day. Um, and I sleep just fine. Um, but as far as going up against the state, the state is getting too big and, and they got a unanimous and enormous amount of resources to come against the public, violate your rights through uh, a gazillion three and four letter federal agencies um, with a massive amount of funding with, with a fake drug war that's killing hundreds of hundreds of people. Um, this intermingling with uh, freedom goes and uh, disrespecting someone that's pretty much helped FSP for a decade um, is really bad and everybody that is 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 rescinding their sign up for FSP has every right to do so I, I, I agree with every single reason and everybody has a different reason I've heard like 10 different reasons and most of them have nothing to do with agreeing with Ian Freeman most of it has to do with the governmental way they proceeded in doing this. Instead of going to him in person, mediating an arbitration, and trying to come to some middle ground. But they want to act like a, the state and the Fed and be like, You said this, that's it, you're gone. By force. And you're done. Because you, you don't have a right to free speech. You're not allowed to have a personal view, and you're just plain old different from us because we want credibility, and we want to keep a, a, a standard with a board and votes and a president like the fucking state. Like the fucking president of the United States. When you get people to control something, they will initially control you. Free State Project is most certainly a state governmental organization. 
And not only that, they have New Hampshire state reps on that board. And guess what? I will target you like a cop. You are a public official and you need to be accountable. Now the other thing I want to say is people that are rescinding their name and emailing FSP saying, I want you to remove me as a cider. They're actually suspending their account and keeping their name. Which is a dirty cover up just like the Fed. And anybody who speaks about this petition on any of the groups like Porcupine Group, the FSP group, who are who at the admins are board members, they're basically censoring everything about it and they're blocking and banning people that were on that group. Another thing the government does, and then they go on to discredit. They try to discredit. That'll be the next step. Um, I'm not sure if that's happening yet or not, but that's the next step Fed, Fed, the Fed and state does. They discredit someone coming against them, and then they pull a hissy fit. Now, there's already 800 people that got removed, that removed themselves from the pork fest group because they want nothing to do with Rekeen. Coplock.org founder um, Pete Aaron and Demo Freeman already removed their names from going to pork fest. I'm not sure if they removed themselves as signers. I think Pete Air did, but don't quote me on that. But uh, I know, I know uh, my wife, uh, Jessica Phillips, uh, formerly um, Jessica Bryant Baker, um, she removed her name. And many, many, many others are removing their name. This has caused a ripple in the movement, and now it's causing a ripple between the Christians in the movement. Um, so are you either going to sit there and be offended, or you can do something about following a state organization that removes people by force. Now, I'm not too happy about being threatened to re be removed from a Christian group and, and discontinue fellowship is what was said. I'm not too happy about hearing that. I'm really sorry that they feel that way. But if you're a Christian and you sign this, this petition, you need to be called out. Paul, the apostle, called out the Philippian and Corinthian church. He rebuked Peter in public, a disciple, a very important disciple. He rebuked Peter right in front of everybody. So it's not that odd to hear a Christian rebuke other Christians. It doesn't mean it's not out of love and you can't, you know, sit there and say that he's sinning because of it. Okay, you come to me, say you offended, I, I say I'm sorry. I try to make you understand why I feel the way I do, but I was the one offended first. When you signed that, you offended me. So, you know, there we go. I'm the one that's offended. We can meet each other on the middle ground, or you can sit there and be butthurt like a little baby and say, oh, he's being forceful, or oh, oh, you're too aggressive, blah, 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 blah. Well, t you better move up in northern New Hampshire and stay out of the cities then. Um, obviously, you know, God's work isn't for you. Um, you can sit there, be in your comfort zone, read your Bible, and pray amongst yourselves and, and be, uh, be a hermit for all I care. Um, am I going to be butt hurt? No. Um, you can remove me from any group you want. You have every right. It's not my group. Um, I don't have, uh, I, I don't know if you want to call a group ownership or if you're an admin and you started the group. I, I, you know, my view on it is you don't own anything on Facebook. Facebook owns it. Um, in uh, closed groups or whatever, um, I think you, you're an admin and you're a steward over those things, but uh, whatever. Um, I don't think you can own a page um, that really doesn't belong to you. Um, but if you want to remove me, that's fine. Um, if you want to come to me, um, I won't give you any problems, um, and we can talk about it and discuss it out of love, peace, and harmony. And that's what this movement's all about. But if you sign this paper, you're a status. If, if you're offended, I'm sorry, but you are, um, and I'll and I'll I can tell you the reasons why it's obvious. Um, but you need, I, th I think every Christian on that petition needs to remove their name from the petition. I don't think they have any business judging somebody by their free speech, um, their freedom of expression, and trying to remove them by force because you're, you know, butt hurt over something. I think you need to go to him in person, express your views to him and meet each other on the middle ground and say your apologies, give a hug and establish peace. This petition does not establish peace and it's proven it. 
this thing killed FSP, and I am no longer involved in anything with FSP. In fact, they can go fuck themselves, um, along with the status on the board. Um, so that's my view. This is my mini cast, and peace. Check out the YouTube channel and uh, the Coplock and Coplock.org and the Coplock Radio Show, episode 109 and episode 110. And check out Scott and Matt on the Cop Blast podcast and Carbon County Coplock in Pennsylvania. And check out Lehigh Valley Coplock and check out uh, my man, Don't Take a Stand. Uh, Don't Take a Stand YouTube. Uh, that's uh, Richie Crowell, uh, Coplock in, in the West Coast. Um, love you, bro. And, uh, and check out uh, Caracopa County, Arizona, Coblock. Um, that's my man Pitt. Um, I'm glad you got the camera from us and, and, and the uh, the press packet um, and the new cam. Um, keep up the good work and keep up the good work. Severin Freeman from Lehigh Valley Coplock and also Ricardo from the Allentown Coplock. You my man. I miss you guys up there. We're gonna do a meetup soon. And uh, free Dio. Um, we love you, Dio. Um, I hope you. Uh, I hope you win your appeal. And I think the uh, the. Um, I think it's uh, Ohio. Um, Ohio uh, Supreme Court. I hope you come to your senses and realize he had a right to do what he had to do. He didn't commit a crime. And those idiots up there. I can't wait till they get a little taste of me, J.P. Freeman, um, because uh, you guys are a bunch of scumbags. And. Uh, and Liberty Lady uh, Jessica Phillips, uh, thank you for all your support and you know riding me around. And of course Ethan Glover, you can find him on EthanGlover.com and New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock and and our on the road podcast and New Hampshire New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock Cop Podcast Episode One, which was last night. Um, you can hear us on the road, kid around. Um, you can check that out on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock uh, YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, King Cop Lock. Um, with Ian Freeman, uh, the person that's been the, the talk of the, the past two weeks, and uh, and uh, thank you, P. Air, for recognizing the uh, the cop lock panel, and thank you, uh, Virgil, for uh, cell four one one. Check out cell four one one. Make sure if you don't have the app, you get it. It will help you cop lock in needs and keep cops accountable and and get liberty activists know what's going on so they can come to your aid. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome app, and check out the TuneIn app so you can uh, plug into the Keene area uh, police scanner. And that, those are the plugs. Peace out, love, peace, and hair grease. See y'all later.